Hi everybody, it's Eric from Eric's Adventures and on today's video we will be installing some new rear lower control arms. So I got these from Apache Off-Road. These are their heavy duty. I've got two lower links. One of them's already on the car. Uh, the rear pan hard bar and then the two upper links. So uh, these will help recenter the axle after you've done a lift kit and the old bushings are pretty worn out. So new bushings and these are much thicker and heavier duty. So you'll get to see that really with the upper arms. Well, let's get to it. First thing I'm gonna do, jack up the rear end and remove the rear tire and uh, unbolt the control arm from the body. So to remove this, it's a 19 millimeter. Uh, remember, always put, always loosen from the nut side. So I've got my impact, got a wrench on this side. And there we go, it comes off. Now just hammer the bolt out and this control arm will drop down. And there we go, control arm down, being held up by the brake line. To remove this mount for the e-brake, this is going to be a 12 millimeter. When you get this off, save this bolt because you will reuse this on the new control arms. It's a 19 millimeter again on this front and rear side. So because I can't fit the impact, I'm gonna use a breaker bar and loosen the nut side. The control arms side by side. So this is the old one, this is the new one obviously, and you can see the new one is slightly shorter. This is to recenter the axle back in the wheel well after you've done your lift. So the new one also is slightly offset on one side where these are in the middle. The offset side is on the axle and you want the brake line bracket to be pointed downward. So for the passenger side, this one will go like this. here uh, for this control arm bracket I will line up the brake line the emergency brake and use the existing bolt that's here and this was a 12 millimeter bolt So here it is. The, new the rear torque spec will be 96 foot pounds for this one and 96 foot pounds for the rear. The lower control arms are done. Now I'm gonna do the uppers. So if you get under here, you can kind of see this is where it is. It's this thin one. This is going to be a 17 millimeter. And if you had the air suspension, which I did, you have the links which level it out. I don't need these anymore. So this is gonna end up getting removed but I'm using an impact with a swivel and then a wrench on the inside to hold the knot. So this is how I'm gonna get these off. The impact didn't work, so I got a wrench on from the inside where the nut is. I'm gonna double wrench it and... Oh, I feel it going. There we go. And remember, if you've got a bolt and nut combo, loosen the nut. It'll be much easier. There we go. And now, just gotta take this off. Now that the control arm has been removed, the adjusters for the air suspension this is a 12 millimeter. Okay. 
okay so the uh, adjuster bolts to the body up here right in front of the spring this is I think a 10 or 12 millimeter to get it on. the easiest way to get the other side is go under the rear uh, if your spare tires removed it makes it a lot better and the nut is on the inside put an impact on it or a wrench and loosened up so then I'm just gonna put a wrench on this other side 17 millimeter just like the upper now that I have the old one out you can see the absolutely massive difference between these so bushings are completely cracked on the old one so much needed replacement and like the thickness is huge difference so you can see this one is offset so make sure that the offset goes down so like this so um it's the best way i can explain it once i've got it installed i'll show you but yeah huge huge difference so i've got this all set up you can see the orientation of the link here uh and the torque spec on these upper ones is going to be 59 foot pounds the control arm that is on the driver's side um, is right by the fuel tank, so obviously a little tough to get to. So what I found was easiest was on the inside, put a 17 millimeter wrench, and on the outside, you can fit a 17 millimeter socket with an extension on an impact and loosen it up that way. That seemed to work for me. And then the height adjuster, uh, this whole bracket here, you could see, let me kind of fish this out. Um, you can see it's still hooked up, but the bracket is held on by a 12 millimeter bolt. So take that off of the frame rail and the whole thing should come out. Now I just got to unclip that sensor and it'll pop right out. When you take the upper control arm, this is the bracket that comes with it. This is the sensor for the rear height adjustment on the airbags, but since we converted the springs, it's no longer needed. And yeah, this is how it comes out. And then we've got the new one in. On the track bar, um, you are given some installation grease with this Apache kit. And the instructions are to push out these metal joints, uh, put grease on and put them in. Uh, this is gonna be a one-time thing, it says on the instructions. So um, I'm just using my wheel lock tool and a hammer. And these come out pretty easily. So now that they're out, I'm just gonna put a little bit of, of this installation grease on there. And this is gonna prevent any squeaking and uh, yeah, just they say a one-time thing, which is not too bad. Make sure you put enough. All the excess will come out when you press the bushing back in. But yeah. out the excess and good to go all right last piece of this is going to be the track bar or pan hard bar um we've got two bolts and nuts two here on this side and then two here on this side obviously i have the i'm keith track bar relocation this basically helps when you've got a lift kit and keeps your track bar straight so I'm gonna remove one side, remove the other, and then get the new one installed.
go. Shimmy the other side and it is removed. Now, this one, you can see I've got a little bit of rust, so I'll clean this up, throw a cone of paint, and then I will reinstall the new one. I got the rear track bar installed. I had to put on the passenger side tire and lower the driver side axle to get this side bolt to line up, but got it all done. The torque spec for the track bar is 96 foot pounds and yeah, got it tightened up and this is ready to go. I've got all the control arms fully installed. So here's the lowers with the skid plate. Um, definitely look much better. Uh, you can kind of see the uppers from in here. Definitely a lot beefier than the OEM ones. And then finally the new track bar. So this is how the install went. It was pretty easy. If you liked the video, if you thought this was interesting and you learned something, give it a like. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel and see you next time.